Welcome back. Well, as we turn the page to 2024, that's crazy to say, yeah. uh, there will be a lot of change that comes with every new year. But as this clip shows us from the WNDU vault, some of our best memories could be very valuable down the road a little ways. This particular foghorn sound has not been heard from the lighthouse on the North Pier in St. Joseph, Michigan for 15 years. The old diaphone horn was replaced with the newer electronic horn, which is supposedly more efficient. But the change came as a surprise and a disappointment to many shoreline residents who were accustomed to its mellow sound. Thanks to St. Joseph resident Ann Keach, however, the diaphone horn can still be heard on tape. Back in the spring of 1970, Keach happened to make a recording of the old foghorn from her living room window. She says, luckily, she did not erase the tape. I had some requests to um, use the tape, the last one being from a, a friend when my son was here. And I was sort of vacillating about, no, no, I really am not comfortable doing that. And when I hung up the phone, Robin said, Mother, you've got to either do something with that or you've got to just say no. You've got to stop waffling. I considered that a challenge, so <laughs> I did something with it. What Keach did was turn the foghorn sound into a local project more than a decade after the initial recording. She took her tape to a recording studio in St. Joseph to have the sound dubbed onto cassettes. Her son photographed the picture on the cassette sleeve, and from there, Keach put the 21 and a half minute tapes on the market. Keach says, surprisingly, a large number of people are buying the cassettes. She's had mail orders from as far away as Northern Ireland, and many people even give reasons for buying the tapes. A uh, lady from Morton Grove, Illinois, just ordered recently. I spent all of my summer, 44 years, in the St. Joseph area, first near Hager Park, and now we have a year-round second home on the lake in Shoreham. I have fond memories of the old B.O. Foghorn. Thank you for saving it. Although the old diaphone foghorn has been replaced, you can still be reminded of it, and you no longer need to live near the lake to enjoy its sound. Reporting from St. Joseph, Michigan, Sandy Mathis, New Center 16. You know, Sandy got some snow. We yeah, haven't. Yeah. But. A lot of great old technology in there. Cassette tape. I mean, I remember don't. a cassette tape. Cassette tape. How about a reel-to-reel? -reel? Did you see the reel-to-reel -reel deck that was in there? Oh, like what, like dubbing the cassette? Is the, that what the big were? The big audio tape reel. It was, you know, big reel-to-reel -reel, uh, tapes that we used to use here in broadcasting and radio. That's and insane. For audio files back in the day before there were CD recordings of things and digital, reel-to-reel -reel audio tape was one of the highest quality that you could get. So there was that. And then the other thing that impressed me was, did you notice how she was reading handwritten letters? <laughs> You know, it's no, there's no email. You'd have to pull up your phone and look at your email now. Well, and, and the sales that they talked about, you know, how does it do that without going viral? I mean, you would think that, you know, I mean, even for my, you know, book here, yeah. you, you got to put it out on uh, Facebook and social media and all that kind of thing. And this was before the days of all of that, and it still was that popular. That's interesting, though. And I saw I was thinking about the cassette. Do you guys remember like having to get like a pencil or something yeah. and like put it in, like wound the hole uh -huh. back up, up if it gets like too? I mean, I don't yeah, because the tape would hang out. And right? people, yeah. it, I, there really would be cassettes. Like, that's so crazy. It's just yeah. like totally. Well, obsolete. think of a reel-to-reel -reel deck as a cassette tape times about a hundred. It's it's that much bigger, and you saw the size of the reel that was on there. That's so, so it would spin that much faster and the faster the tape speed the higher the quality and that's why audio files back in the day before digital recordings they loved reel to reel text and Whoa. so nice to see one there for the old foghorn. I think I you was can do born in this time. Well. No, I, okay, okay, I'll do it. Mm. <laughs> there you go. There you go. We're, we're going to do it for Michigan City. I'll call on you here in just a second.